Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. So, I know many of you guys wonder where I've been. I haven't went anywhere. I've been filming my little tail off. The dogs are running underneath me. They love you, too. But, I've been trying to put up my videos, and they won't upload. So let me know if any of you guys have a channel. When I upload my videos, there's other videos that have already uploaded that are all underneath still trying to upload. But we're so close to getting monetized, and there's some of my bigger videos. It seems before I had one, Mrs. Wonderful against Guest Mob, and I locked it, the video, and then I deleted the one that was uploaded, and it still deleted the one that was locked. So I lost like 600 views, a bunch of watch time. But let me know in the comments, if anybody's watching, just saying or anyone, let me know how I can delete these videos because I think that is the problem. They're trying to re-upload, but they're already uploaded. But anyways, shoot me a comment if somebody knows how to help and I'll explain more. We got a lot to talk about in this and I don't want to waste it all on this. Man, have we got a lot to cover. First off, I made a Jen video where she's promoting domestic violence. It is a heater, you guys. And I went harder than the paint. I don't feel bad because you don't promote domestic violence when you have a platform in front of 25,000 people. And I did not like the joke. So I was one of the first to make a video on that. Wouldn't upload. Was so happy. Was like, oh, we got it out. We're one of the first people won't upload so let me know if you guys still want to see some of these older videos and then what is going to happen here i'm going to try and knock off too my memory seems to be full so what i'm going to do is there's some holes that i've done i know some sugar berry you're too big to get under the desk honey i got my chair pulled up too far so there's going to be a lot of drink things new drinks i've tried out and about there's a cracker barrel gift shop but if that's not your content just go ahead and skip that video i understand some of you guys like that stuff some of you guys don't puppy i'm not holding you i love you too stinky so anyways i love you guys too stop we got a lot to do fellas puppy if you guys could look at this little creature he's got his head on my we got so much to do though okay so anyways let's get into what we got to do simon you're scratching me get down go go play you two lou go they love you too ludus ludus go so let me know do you want me to try and fiddle with the gen video i've tried it 50 times it won't go up maybe if i knock some of these other videos and the memory goes down i can try to airdrop into something else <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into our drink of the day. I've been trying to talk so quick that I'm like... Okay, so we have this tea here. It's jasmine green tea, and it's unsweetened. And it says, relax and unwind. I Itiodin. I Itiodin. I'm not even going to butcher the name. But this is the tea we have today. And it is unsweetened because we've got a treat over here and then we've got a yogurt treat so let's go ahead and get into this and we will read a quick authentically brewed japan's foremost tea purier brings you this green tea with no added flavors no concentrates no color and no colors and no tea powder sorry guys i'm tongue twisted it's like the first video i gotta get back in the swing of things I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. I do have a couple clips. Maybe I'll put them in like the next dog thing I do or something. I just needed some time to unwind. There's a lot going on. Um, some crazy things. Maybe I'll try to get into a little bit of that. But um, there's been a lot going on. And just I'll explain later I promise in another video. It's too long. But I had some terrible things happen. Um. Well, let's just get into it. I don't want to be Amberlynn or one of those people that's like, well, something's going on, but I don't want to talk about it. So, me and one of my friends were riding a four-wheeler, and they are a person of color. We're riding through my neighborhood. I got a new four-wheeler I'd love to show you guys, but this kind of dampered the vibe on the four-wheeler because I had to talk to the police anyways. 
Long story short, a gentleman pulled a knife out on my friend of color and then went inside. All the neighborhood kids were following us on their bikes and cocked a gun back and told us we better not ride our four-wheelers ever again. So, the cops came. Long story short, they did absolutely nothing. Nothing. Went down, called me, said we can't find him. I gave him the address, didn't go back the next day, so I'm really disappointed in that. But we are going to do a four-wheeler review, but right now that kind of just cut the vibes on the four-wheeler. And it just made me just really feel some sort of way for my friend and our criminal justice system. So... My neighborhood kids are alright. I talked to them, talked to each of their parents. Unfortunately, they seen this, and that is why I'm like, why, excuse me, was it not illegal to pull the gun out, <clears throat> excuse me, in front of the neighborhood kids? I'm a grown-ass adult, and, you know, karma will come way, but how is that not illegal for the children to see you know, as I've mentioned before, I'm a struggling addict and I'm clean and there's a lot of addiction in my neighborhood so they know that my house is a safe haven and to have them to see that, Simon, quit. They always want to play right when I'm trying to make a video. So anyways, long story short, I'm going to do a four-wheeler review, quad, four-wheeler, whatever you call it. But it just kind of killed the vibe as, you know, I've been dealing with that. Trying to make sure this guy doesn't retaliate. Come up here. Try and shoot my house up at night. My dogs could be outside. So I really, really have been on high alert. And just trying to keep. Um, I do have cameras as I've mentioned. My neighborhood has a high drug and crime rate. So don't worry guys. I'm safe. The dogs are safe. And if anything uh, transpires with the rest of the situation. I'll let you know. But right now it's not looking good. That anything's not going to happen. So... I don't know, guys. I know that there's a lot going on in the beauty community. I have a video going with that. I know it's old tea, but I have found a couple things that's quite interesting that I haven't seen anybody else put a video out. You know I like to do my research, so that'll be in the next day or so, too, and we're going to get all caught up. I know Jen's been on the shenanigans. Like I said, I've made Jen videos. Hopefully, we can get them up. So, let's get into what we got to do. We got a lot. Pull up a pillow, pull up a snack, a drink, and let's get to it. So, we've tried one of these out before, and I could not remember. I need to start a log, you know, with my little journals over here, my 50 journals. But, that's another thing. Amberlynn is moving. We got an Amberlynn thing I've been researching. Amberlynn says that she thinks cancel culture is abusive. <laughs> My hair just came unclipped. And sorry, my hair's just, I just cleaned it. I got out the shower, so I just wanted to kind of do a look. Leave my hair breathe. Don't put any chemicals in it or any product. And just a little coconut oil and let him shine. So, I need to start making a log of different snacks and drinks. Since we are gaining momentum, we are going to have one hell of a mean giveaway. Don't worry, your girl has been out on these streets. Not been going wild, been wearing my mask, but I've got a giveaway coming. Once we hit a thousand on the dot, we are ready to rock and roll, my friends. And have I got a nice bit of things. I don't know if I'm going to break it up into one, break it up into two. I'm going to leave that to you guys. Once I show the things, <clears throat> excuse me, once I show the things, I'm going to let you guys decide. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm trying to talk so quick because I know we got a lot to do. But I'm going to let you guys decide, do you want one big giveaway or do you want to break it into two piles and let two lucky people? And don't worry if you don't win this giveaway. Each marker we hit, you know, we may not do 2,000, but if we get the momentum, if we ever hit 5,000, I know that's a far shot, but... Just every little moment we make, I'm going to do a giveaway because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. Now, let's get into this. So, I know I did the chocolate one. I don't know if I did the vanilla pudding one. Um, these are the plant-based puddings. And it says, light with floral essence, the mellow blend of exotic spice and sweet sugar. Gluten-free, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, they are organic, 4 grams of protein. Is this one of the plant-based ones? Uh, 
Okay, I know the chocolate one was plant-based, but I don't know. So, this is the Petite Pot Vanilla French Pot Pudding. And it says, French Pudding. USDA Organic. And look, you can see the little um, vanilla seeds here. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I do apologize. I'm, like, trying to talk quick, and I was, like, getting raspy, and then all the yelling with the whole situation... Gotta quit saying situation too. So don't worry, there's plenty of stuff. Like I said, if some of the other videos aren't your cup of tea, just move on. There's other things coming, but it's gonna be and thanks, Yaba. Thank you, buddy, for the postcard. I do um appreciate that. Let me uh cover the address here. It says the world before us is a postcard, and I am the, <clears throat> excuse me, and I imagine the story we are writing on it. Mary E. Pearson and the Miles Between Love Yabba. And here's the postcard. So, I thought that was really nice. So, we'll put that on our banner here. Um, I have taken down my Shane and Jeffrey stuff. Like I said, got a video coming up with that. It's not going to be the same monotony. I know a lot of people are covering it. A lot of videos are out there. But I did find some interesting things that I have not seen yet while researching. Let's go ahead and try our French vanilla French pudding here. Let's give him a stir. And we have got a lot to get into so, if you need to pause, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. I apologize, man. <clears throat> if you need to pause, get a drink, use the restroom, we got a lot to do. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So, you see the little specks of vanilla. Simon, I'm not picking him up. I'm not picking him up right now. I'm not picking him up. Oh, my God, you guys. He's like... Okay. So, you get coconut... Or, excuse me. You get definitely the vanilla right off top. You get a French vanilla, fresh vanilla flavor. And it's not like coinly sweet. It's more like a custard pudding. And it's just nice and light. Like, really good. I like this. I've mentioned it before. Um, I knew we tried... Excuse me. I know we've tried the chocolate one. And it was a plant-based pudding. So, highly recommend these. I got them at Meyer. Simon, I'm not picking you up. I love you. Get down. Get down, Bubbis. Okay. And then I thought, you know what? I had got a couple of these. Let's shake it up. And these are the Chibana, Chibani Gimmies. Nothing artificial, 25% less sugar, bunch of bouncy grapes, yogurt pouch. And yes, I know these are for kids before you come with me. I like little things like this. I swim. I got the backyard all ready to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got the backyard ready to go, so we're going to be back there. We're going to be making some videos. I finally got my little deck thing finished. I got one more piece of wood to cut off of it, and then we'll be outside. Maybe we can do a live stream swimming or something, do some kind of swimming content. I think that would be neat. Sorry about Simon shaking the tripod. So, I like little things. Yes, I know they're for kids, but I can just grab this, go in the yard, or if I want to go... Come in, use the restroom, pee, go back to swimming, or if I'm in a rush with Granny. It's just a little something. I know it's for kids, but I like things like this, and you know your girl has a sweet tooth, and it's better than a candy bar or something like that. It's got a lid here. I'm sorry. I know some of you might not have kids. and So what it has is a little pouch, and then it's got a little lid, and you just... Push up the yogurt. Really good. Now, it's not coinly sweet like the pudding. You definitely get the yogurt up front. Of course, it's yogurt. But, I mean, you definitely get that hardcore yogurt taste. It's more like a Greek yogurt, not a sweet yogurt. 
that's what I was getting to. And then you just get a little bit of grape. It's more like a sour grape than a sweet grape. So, I like these. Um, I got a pack of four. <clears throat> excuse me. And it had two grape. Um, two grape. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I do apologize. It's like all of a sudden I got raspy. We know I always have a raspy voice. But... So anyway, so it came with two grape and two strawberry. So, let's get into it. That's why we're all here, and let's get started. So, we're going to read, if I say so one more time. I am sorry, you guys. I catch myself when I, like, uh, sometimes I'll, like, go back if sometimes the videos I want to make sure everything was okay or the lights or the sound, and I always catch myself, like, so, all right, guys, so, so, I'm trying to work on everything, <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, so I know I do that a lot. I do apologize for that, and uh, let's get to it. Simon, I love you too, pussycat. Oh, God, Jen just popped up. Good night. I have what and where. Oh, God. Jen cracks me up. Sorry, we're getting a Foodie Beauties community tab. Jen cracks me up like, girl, you're not on keto. Quit playing the keto games. I don't know why people would follow her for any kind of weight loss keto. Simon, I love you too, honey. Go lay in your bed, baby. And I noticed too that Foodie Beauty is almost 277. Um, seven, she's almost hitting 77,000. I'm like, tch. You gotta be shitting my parade. Like, okay, let's get to the good old community tab and listen what she's got to say. <clears throat> Sorry, man. Okay. This is 10 hours ago, and I figured we would grab it while the getting's good. I am going to disable my comments for a while. I noticed when they are on, especially caps. For my weight-related content, my mental health is even worse. I appreciate many of you the many, <clears throat> excuse me, I appreciate the many of you who are truly, or er, excuse me, I am tongue twisted. I appreciate the many of you who are only trying to help and who support me, but there is a fair amount of people who only follow weight loss journeys of shame and ridicule. Besides that, I find the accusations that I don't try hard enough, I make excuses, tell lies, blah, 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 are just too much, and I don't need this negativity when I'm trying to battle so much right now. This, capitals, is why every time I start a weight loss journey on my channel, I get mad and quit. Not... She writes a word here, and I don't know what she was... Not Q trying... I don't know what she meant. Not something trying, but quit sharing. Thousands of people... Hold on. Excuse me, I had to burp. Sorry. <clears throat> Thousands of people with opinions and criticism only, excuse me, God, dog, let me start over. <laughs> I'm like, Duh. Thousands of people with opinions and criticism on something that makes me so vulnerable. Something so personable. When I decide to stop sharing because it overwhelms, it's overwhelming. I get accused of being a failure. The amount of shaming on this platform is crazy and unhealthy. I bet this post will result in me being accused of blaming my viewers, etc., etc., eye-rolling emoji. Anyways, I'm disabling comments and rethinking my content once again. It's got 159 thumbs up. Now... Let's go on there before we go on to the next thing from three days ago. First and foremost, you, my friend, are not a weight loss channel. I don't care what you say, you are not a weight loss channel. Let's just do a little recap here of your video from earlier today. 
your video of today. What weight loss channel has an or has a thumbnail with a pie in it? What weight loss channel has a pie in the thumbnail? A half a rotisserie chicken, a thing of mashed potatoes and gravy. The internet's been a piece of shit. I'm gonna have to get better internet and figure configure it into my bills and budget. All my devices, half of them are new. The internet don't work. I just want to make videos for you guys. And I've gotten so, so down and out. We're almost to a thousand. It's like right when we start to gain momentum, stupid shit happens. The internet don't work. The videos don't want to go up. I swear it's like something is trying to stop us. But we are not stopping and we are going to keep trucking. Okay. So we got... In the thumbnail, we got a pie, a half a freaking rotisserie chicken, a thing of sauce, some gravy, mashed potatoes, and a whole pie. And then another plate here with whatever it is, rice and something else. Pie, food, more food. How are you trying to still consider yourself a weight loss channel if you are a weight loss channel then i'm a weight loss channel because i eat all this shit and i still move around and i either lose weight or i maintain the same amount of weight so my weight loss channel should we change this to kaya simon's weight loss journey is, is that what it takes because <clears throat> What weight loss channel has a pie in the thumbnail? Okay, let's get on to it and let's just giddy up. So it has nothing to do with being. Now, over the okay, so I also want to say this. She's using obese to beast <clears throat> for content. She speaks a lot. I skimmed through this to see if we wanted to mess with it. Sugar Bear, you gotta move, baby girl. Sugar Bear, honey, you gotta move. I know, mommy's mean. So, I thought obese to obese was... They, they didn't want to listen to him, and he wasn't... Now, we're gonna try and leave. We got a new light back here, and uh, we're gonna leave that on and see... Okay, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. If so, I got the remote right here, if it does. So, she's got a beast to beast over here is talking about speaking on Amberlynn Reed. First off, you know what, let's just giddy up. Let's get to it. The year she's had tons and tons of tons of people that have tried to help her. She's tried to lose weight a ton of times. And I can, I can say that it would be really nerve-wracking because, you know, coming from someone that's lost 180 pounds, if I were to film myself every single... Now this... Before we get started, this is a true weight loss channel. If you guys are looking for weight loss, this, my friend, he knows what he's talking about. He is a true weight loss channel. So if you're looking for somebody, I advise to go to him because Jen, uh, Lame Life by Jen, Lies by Amy, uh, Amber Lynn, let's not even get started with her because, honey, she's been trolling like a mug with these mukbangs. We're going to get into all these girls. Don't worry. I've been getting caught up. We are going to get right back caught up. But this is a weight loss channel, my friends. Single time I had tried to lose weight before this time, I would probably be having people say the same thing to me. Like, you don't actually want to lose weight. You don't care. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. So, the intro clips are from obese to beast he has a very large first off loss. her hair looks greasy as shit second off you could not pay me she said in her last video when she went to the berry farm with mom that with the pie that we were just talking about she her boil is still not held up honey you could not pay me to go out the house without a brawl and first and foremost, your ass must not have been showering regularly or having anybody clean this boil because it has been months. I told you guys in my video I had a boil 
there and it was decent size. It was infected. My pants was rubbing it. There is no way in flying hell she's been taking care of this boil. No, ma'am. Fitness channel. If you are not familiar with him, please check him out. I will link the videos I used for my video in the description below. I was using his videos not so much to affirm what I'm about to talk about. So, it's okay she throws a tantrum when everybody uses her videos, but it's okay for her to use his. Okay, so was we putting, was first, <clears throat> excuse me, was we going to put Obese to Beast in the uh, name to try and get some views drawn in? She speaks a lot, I skimmed through this, she speaks a lot on Amberlynn in this. First off, did you ask Amberlynn if you could speak for Because you sure do a lot of it in this video. More to say what I want to say. He, he had a really good way of putting what was on my mind for the subject that I'm going to talk about. So I wanted to use those clips to kind of give Look you... Look at her eyes. They just have like... Not right here. They're so dark and lifeless. I, I mean, I know I'm talking in the dark, but they're so dark and lifeless. And there's no pupil. That There's no distinction between the pupil. It, it's like, is she on something? Has she taken meds? I know usually some people, when they, you know, smoke weed or edibles, but she just looks very lifeless in this, in her eyes. It's like, is she in manic mode? So I'm just going to get my message out in this one video instead of constantly bombarding my community post section with these passive aggressive posts when I'm just going to do this one video, state what I want to say, my opinions and thoughts on the subject matter, and then move on from it. Her mouth <laughs> sounds dry. For you guys. So number one thing I want to say is I'm not going back to McBain's. I'm not going back to unhealthy mukbangs. <laughs> it's coming and I can feel it. And if you look at the history of my channel, it's been a complete mess. And that's my own fault because I go, I would go, I started as doing mukbangs and then I would, you know, um, do weight loss content back to mukbangs. I would get fed up. I would get, there's a continual pattern of getting overwhelmed with doing a weight loss journey on YouTube. Now there's two kinds of weight loss journeys, okay? There's pre-weight loss journeys, which are pre-weight loss. First and foremost, this is what pisses me off, Dr. Pooty, because I know you watch this shit. You say it before you go around searching. People don't come to you with this shit. You go find it. I always have three or four. It's usually I notice on other people's videos, too. Sometimes Mary Beth Wiley, different people I notice, they'll have three or four thumbs down. You, my friend, are not a doctor. Just like the juice thing, and you want to get all these little fad diets or your little kickstarters or whatever you want to talk about, you are in no boat. This is where my problem comes in with Dr. Pooty. Dr. Pooty wants to give advice when Dr. Pooty should not be giving advice, and Dr. Pooty has no idea what she's talking about. Foodie Beauty, if you ever see this, do you wonder if people actually would be dumb enough to follow this? And I hope they wouldn't. But you're not a medical doctor. You are not in the medical profession. So stop trying to give advice because surely I'm not listening to it. And none of my crew and none of the community is. But hopefully you don't have one crazy at the crew or a couple that are dumb enough to follow advice from you. You are going to make somebody sick or hurt somebody or yourself. Us. I hate when she, every new thing, she has to, well, let me state the facts. And No, we all got Dr. Google. We all know how to Google shit. We don't need you to do it for us. Then there's post-weight loss journeys, which is what obese to beast is. And he's, 
reached his goal. You so are not a weight loss guru at all. People on maintaining that weight loss. He's helping share his journey because he's he is the inspiration. He's he's Why are you speaking life. for obese to beast? Why? Why are you speaking? I thought all these people were fat shamers and da 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 and why are you speaking for this man? Did you ask him if it was okay to say this stuff? You don't know if he wants you. He does not need you as his spokesperson. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. If somebody else were to make this video about her, well, foodie beauty is, and da 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 da, she'd be pissed. You know damn well she didn't ask Obese to Beast or Amber if she could use them to talk for them in this video. He's put in the hard work. He you damn right he has. has. Okay. And. Take a drink of water. Works for him. Definitely. Um, weight loss journeys are very personal. There's a million and one ways to achieve weight loss. <laughs> you guys, this might have to be a part two or because we're. We're only uh, three minutes in, and I can't stop already. Weight loss journeys are very personal. Almost 77,000 people. Weight loss journeys are personal. You've told your stories of shit in your pants. Having a threesome that was the most absolute vile thing I've ever heard of and would be if it's a true story I would be absolutely disgusted for a fly on the wall to know about that story let alone anybody could find it in your genre of videos but weight loss journeys are personal you guys don't forget that Get the hell out of here and uh, there's different forms of obesity so there's eating disorder, there's food addiction, there's all kinds of different things, and it affects everyone dis differently. And how they deal with it is going to be different for everyone. And what really, I liked what he really talked about, that really hit home for me as you saw in the clips, is he's reached the end goal and started doing his videos. Why now, are you he, talking about he's, him? He's had many failures along the way. So I How do you know? You know, people like Amberlynn and I, who are on these journeys, he understands... Dude, wait, this whole video, she literally, it's like, Amberlynn and I, I'm gonna speak for Amberlynn, and dude... We don't care about Amberlynn's weight loss journey, because it's a crock of shit, too. She just did hibachi steak, eating Subway every damn day. It is a crock of shit, too. Just like Amy, just like your buddy Jen, crock of shit in a handbasket. Why are you speaking for obese to obese, though? I'm going to let this roll a couple minutes, and we might have to make this a part two. I know some of you guys hate that, some of you like it, but, man, we're at the 33-minute mark, but I just had to tell you guys everything and get you swing. But we are really going to get caught up, and I'm not going anywhere. It's just all these stupid technical... The internet... The shit not wanting to go up. I'm not leaving you guys. And believe me, we are about to knock it out the park. Because it's time to, like I said, we ain't sugarcoating shit over here. The failures. And, you know, if his comment section or his reception might be very different. How do you know? His journey from the beginning. Uh, You're too busy watching Nicado Avocado to even know. How, how do you know in the beginning his comment section wasn't a shit show? You've made your comment section a shit show. No. See, this is my thing, you guys. I'm going to pause right quick. She has created this circus of her channel that she's not gathering in her head. The reason why these other weight loss channels that are real weight loss channels, first off, rewind that. They're real weight loss channels. Second off, they don't put mukbangs every other video. They don't have pies and rotisserie chicken in their thumbnails. And they don't go to Starbucks every day shitting their pants all over the place. You have created this circus. I'm not saying it would... Oh, and wait a minute. And then you want to cry... Let me, let me turn the light on here, because this shit that needs to be dealt with, too. You want to cry about everybody picking on you. Yabba's kids. 
YouTube Underground, Yaba's Kids. Did they have anything to do with anything? And you brought them in. Charlie Gold, you showed her mugshot. Alex is shook. You addiction shamed Alex is shook. One vlog away, you said her face looked like your stew. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm sure uh, the cheese thing, check that out. I did a par uh, parody, a skit of her Halloween thing. You made a mockery of cult jokes. You made a freaking cheese thing and a video about people dying that were brainwashed by a freaking cult. And you named your stupid little statue of the cult leader. You have created this circus of a shit show that your channel has come to become. And now you want to take your viewer's voice away, which they're more welcome to come over here and voice their opinions. You know what? Let me just say this, and we're going to make this a two-parter. When I first started doing these reactions, I said I would never block a video, or I mean never block a comment. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did block one comment because somebody came for one of my viewers when they told me to have a nice day. Somebody put rude. Rude. Kaya, have a nice day. And a troll put rude. So, yeah, I deleted that because it wasn't for me. It was one of my viewers telling me hello. How the Sam hell was that rude? So, yeah, I deleted that. But what I was getting to is one of your little baby minions has a shitty, crappy-ass makeup channel, and came over here saying that I looked like a meth head. First off, get your facts straight. Because my drug of choice was never meth, pumpkin pie. I have a freaking anxiety and depression and panic attacks, and speed is like a freaking panic attack in the making. So, do you think I deleted that comment... And I was fresh in the game. I was still new and still trying to, like, figure shit out. Do you think I deleted that comment? Hell no. A couple more of your minions came over here calling me a junkie, calling me a method. First and foremost, do you think I deleted that shit? Absolutely not. Why? Because I'm not a baby. Why? Because I have a backbone. Why? Because there's some people on the internet that my ass will never, ever see. And if I ever did see them, bet your ass they probably wouldn't call me that shit in person now, would they? And if they did... Alright. So... You are taking their voices away, which is going to make them leave your channel. You are not good at the game of YouTube, my friend. I don't think this place is for you, and you definitely aren't a weight loss channel. You definitely haven't been, and I don't think you never will be. Now, can you consider yourself a mukbang channel? I would say you're way more of a mukbang channel than a weight loss channel. Because that's one thing you've never been good at. And without the food, it don't seem like you got shit. And I'm not saying that to be mean. She has nothing if it's other than the food. And that is why she needs to get her shit together and go to a psychologist, go to a therapist, because food is her everything. She had that rotisserie chicken with her family, bought a whole damn pie, sat in light. Oh, I'm not going to eat the mashed potatoes. You ate the mashed potatoes. You hit the bottom of the freaking container, the bottom of the container. Why lie to the people? That's why they get upset with you. Why lie to your viewers? Why lie? Say I'm going to eat the damn mashed potatoes and eat them. That's better than lying. If you're going to eat the mashed potatoes, eat them. Don't pussyfoot around. You know, when this camera comes off, you damn right I'm eating all this pudding. Well, I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to save this pudding for a week from now. No! I'm going to put the cap on this and I might save this for a couple hours from now or vice versa. But I'm going to eat the damn pudding and I'm going to eat the yogurt. But you lie to them. Oh, I'm, 
No, you ate the damn mashed potatoes. Quit lying. It's the stupid little shit that people get pissed about. Now, I'm going to go let my dogs out. We are going to finish this. We're only 3 minutes 52 seconds, so it's got to be a two-parter. Come right back. I'm literally letting my dogs out. Please come back. I'm not going anywhere. I'll try to slow down on the rants. I know I went hard for a minute, and we'll get through this video, and I won't bullshit around. I'm sorry. I had missed you guys. I wanted to catch you guys up, let you know I'm not going anywhere. We're coming back stronger than ever, and we are going to giddy up. So, please come back part two. I'll try and zip it a little bit, and we'll get through it quick. Hopefully, it won't be this long. Love you guys. See you in a minute for part two. Kaya out. Be right back.